Traditionally, data have been collected using pen and paper. Whether it is a single researcher taking repeated daily measurements or a team of enumerators performing a detailed survey of hundreds of households, paper forms have been the standard. As a technology, pen and paper is both reliable and cheap. It is also easy to use and as such requires very little investment. In the past, digital data collection tools have had far too many drawbacks to be viable in most situations. It has been more efficient to collect data with pen and paper, then devise a data entry system to convert the collected data to a digital format. In recent years, mobile devices have been one of the fastest growing sectors in digital technology. You no longer need dedicated handheld devices for data entry. A modern smartphone can be as powerful and versatile as a laptop and much easier to carry around. Price is also becoming less of a barrier. An Android powered smartphone can be bought for as little as 50 US dollars and for only a few dollars more you can get a very powerful device. These factors are leading to a world where many people are comfortable using mobile touchscreen devices. As the market grows, more developers are drawn to develop software to use these mobile technologies. The Android platform is now the most popular operating system for smartphones. It is open source, which makes it very easy for developers to work with. There are many different data collection tools being developed, and during the next few years, we expect more innovations in both the hardware and the software. There are two current projects of particular note. One is the Fieldbook an application for Android developed by the McKnight Foundation, specifically for collecting experiment data in the field. The second is the Open Data Kit. This is a much larger project, funded by Google and maintained by the University of Washington, which has more general applications than the fieldbook. This is originally a survey tool, but it can also be used to create decision support maps for use in hospitals and pharmacies, etc., and for building nature mapping tools Rather than one piece of software, it is a complete collection of tools which can be used to create entire data collection systems, right from designing the forms, to collecting the data on different devices, to aggregating those data onto a server and preparing them for analysis. So the required hardware and software are readily available, but does that mean we should actually use them? There are many benefits to using digital data collection. You can integrate data validation checks at the point of collection instead of waiting until the data entry stage to build them in. For example here, this multiple choice question only shows the villages within the chosen region as defined from a previous question. Another example shows how the user can be prompted with custom messages if the response does not meet the validation criteria. Required fields can prevent issues with missing data. In this example, the numerator cannot progress through the form without entering a response. Of course, care must be taken when designing the form to allow for genuine occasions when a field should be marked as not applicable or missing. Skip logic can be built directly into the collection form, making the enumeration process more efficient. This is especially useful in surveys with very large, multi-sectioned questionnaires. The other major benefit is that the collected data are already digital. No data entry phase is needed, and backups can easily be taken throughout the entire collection process. Of course, there are many issues that must be carefully considered when choosing digital data collection. There will be an additional startup cost to build the infrastructure required. This includes the cost of the mobile devices and the extra time needed to develop and test the system. The reliability of such systems is often called into question. What if the network fails and the data do not upload properly? What if a device breaks during the survey? What if power runs out mid-collection? You need to ensure you plan carefully. Ensure you equip enumerators with extra batteries, rechargeable devices, and possibly even provide spare devices in case of any accident. Another issue is that of training. Enumerators need to be familiar with any data collection system which may involve teaching extra skills to effectively manage their mobile device and their digital data. These issues all require extra thought but are not insurmountable. Hardware costs are constantly falling. For instance, a versatile Android smartphone 
can be bought for 50 US dollars. When using paper to collect data, a data entry system is needed at a later stage. This is not needed when the data are already digital. So the extra time spent before the collection stage can usually be saved later in the project. A well-planned backup system can reduce the risks of hardware failure. And as it is much easier to copy a digital file than a paper form, in many ways, a digital collection system is more reliable. And regarding the training, the current software is built to be very intuitive, requiring not much more training than a complex set of paper questionnaires would. And as mobile devices continue to become more popular, many people are becoming increasingly tech savvy. In conclusion, digital data collection is much more viable now than even a few years ago. While it requires more initial planning and development time, it is in many ways more reliable, as you can integrate data checks at the point of collection. Data management can be built into the system, reducing the need for organizing hundreds of separate paper questionnaires. Backups of the data can be taken immediately after collection. And if you are working in an area with a good network connection, you can upload data to a central server, and the entire project team can monitor those data in real time. Any concerns can quickly be raised without having to wait until after the data entry phase. There are a wide variety of tools available. and Some of the best are open source. This allows a community-driven development cycle. And constant innovations are allowing the tools we use to improve all the time.